thank you. I thank you all. Thanks to you, I'm ready to embark on a life-changing experience. Needless to say that this is one of the most important moments of my life. 19 years ever since I arrived to my first FIDH Congress in Dakar, then Casablanca, Quito, Lisbon, Erevan, Istanbul, where I decided to run for vice president of our federation. And now, here I am in Johannesburg, incoming president of this great, yet complex in its magnificent federation. I'm deeply honored. I look forward to start working with all of you member organizations, staff, and board in order to strengthen our common commitment to our funding principles in dialogue with the novel challenges of our century. This is the spirit of our conference, fighting back for human rights. And in this process, every little step counts. Dear friends, Dear comrades, this is your federation. Collective ownership of the FIDH is a continuous and fundamental feature that in turn creates an existential challenge. FIDH can only operate collectively. Otherwise, it will betray its own principles and undermine its future. Federation is the major world human rights movement, and this is what makes it unique. Ownership as the ultimate and exclusive right conferred, conferred by a lawful claim or title. This is our federation. We have good reasons to consolidate its moral authority since our statutory cause is going through hard and even harder times across the world. We are. We are the weak side in this great struggle. Yet our force lies on our unity. It is in our profit to consolidate our connection. We are not our own here. Togetherness, this is the pillar of our strength. Whatever our strength is, given the power of the opponent. This is the reason of our considerable successes despite the power of the opponents. We have been fighting despite different viewpoints, different traditions and backgrounds. Together. Let me share with you my personal experience. For eight years, from 2003 to 2011, I chaired the board of the Greek League for Human Rights. I was always satisfied with our FIDH membership, but on the other side, I confess, I had not been doing much in order to consolidate our links within the Federation. When after 2009, things got from bad to worse in my country, I started to think otherwise. How can we make the Greek coast part of an international setting? How can our global aims be in dialogue with the local issues we confront on a daily basis? And now, due to our FIDH membership, I know that we are stronger. Our cause is stronger. Dear friends and comrades, designing a strategy from the national to the regional and from the regional to the global level is always a challenging operation. But yet, it is something more than this. It is a struggle. 
And this is where we come to the world of politics. Not the world of political parties or the realm of political elites. Here the issue at stake is the core of politics, the struggle against inequality in favor of the weak, the struggle for altering the power structure in favor of human rights victims, <coughs> in favor of rule of law, in favor of our own vision of a just world. And this is where we meet social movements, gaining radicalization from them, offering rationalization to them. In this difficult struggle, our weapon is strategy. Strategy is the weapon of the weak. And this is why we are here strategizing our priorities. Across the world, social and political movements, local initiatives and global campaigns, institutions and organizations are in dialogue with us. The strengthening of this dialogue, the strengthening of transnational ties of solidarity, the exchange of ideas and practices is a major priority for us. Because this is the way to reverse the tide of reactionary and repressive politics across the world. This is the way to make our voice heard. This is the way to achieve all those little steps of advancement that in turn will make our world a better place to live in. I am privileged and honored to participate in this great effort. I'm here thanks to you all. I would like to express my gratitude to the representatives of the leagues. Your participation and your vote empowered the Federation. We've got work to do, and we owe this work to ourselves. I'm here thanks to the Greek League for Human Rights, my organization, which proposed my candidacy after having been serving as a member ever since 1990. I'm here thanks to the extraordinary stuff of our secretariat. Their paradigm was a major motivation for me to take the decision to run for president. I will be with you, one among you in Paris starting in two weeks' time. I'm here thanks to our outgoing president, my closest friend ever since the FIDH Congress in Dakar, Karim Lahiji. It is an honor. It is an honor and a heavy duty for me to fill his shoes, his wisdom and dignity. Karim, my comrade, I'll do my best. Yet, last but far from least, I'm here thanks to my wife, Marilena. who for the last 19 years of our common life, she shared every expectation of mine, every thought, and she has been a pillar in every intellectual, political, and personal step I have been taking. I cannot promise much. I can only promise one thing. For the next years, we will keep fighting back for rights by thinking 
analyzing, <coughs> reacting, and acting forward. We will work hard, but I'm confident. This is what I do already in my life, and I know that this is what most of you people are doing regardless of positions held. This is our discourse, our wisdom. This is our power, but also the inescapable, sometimes even puzzling complexity that makes our lives more difficult, even dangerous for many of you here. But above all, this is our civil society. I thank you all.